Today's story, Lettuce the Flying Rabbit by Mandy Stanley. Lettuce Rabbit and her family lived high up on top of the hill. Nibble, nibble, hop, hop. Every day was the same. Nothing ever happens here, Lettuce sighed, rolling over onto her back. Just then, a small bird flew overhead. Lettuce watched as it swooped and looped high over the meadow. I wish I could fly, Lettuce thought. Perhaps I can fly, thought Lettuce. I've never even tried. Lettuce jumped to her feet. She flapped her arms. She flapped her ears. She even flapped her whiskers and tail, but nothing seemed to work. Lettuce flopped down on the grass, very fed up. I'll never be able to fly. Suddenly she stopped. She could hear a strange, deep humming sound. It was a beautiful pink airplane, turning and diving in the sky. Wow, breathed Lettuce. She jumped up and scampered after it. She bounded across the meadow, under the hedge, over the fence, and through the stream until, in the distance, she saw the plane land. Lettuce hopped over to take a closer look. Inside the cockpit was a tiny seat, just the right size for a small rabbit. She had to try it. Lettuce wriggled her bottom into the seat. Suddenly, the plane made a loud rumbling noise. It lurched forward and jolted up, up, up into the sky. Help, squealed Lettuce. When she took a peek down below, she could see fields and woods stretching far into the distance. I never knew the world was this big, she gasped. Just then, a sudden gust of wind pushed the little plane sideways. Uh-oh, cried Lettuce. Shudder, clank, whoosh, went the plane. And then... Crash! The plane flew into a tree in the middle of the woods, a long way from home. Lettuce was thrown out. She clung onto a branch, dangling high above the ground. I wish I were safe at home, she whispered tearfully. Lettuce's arms ached and she couldn't hold on any longer. Her paws slipped and she began to fall. Down, down, down. straight into the arms of a little girl. What are you doing in my plane? laughed the girl, putting Lettuce safely on the ground. I just wanted to be able to fly, sobbed Lettuce, but it all went wrong and now I'll never get home. I can fly you back, said the girl, and she showed Lettuce the special control box that made the plane fly. Oh, thank you, squeaked Lettuce. She took a deep breath and climbed into the seat once again. The engine started and the plane lifted smoothly up into the air. The plane took Lettuce high above the woods. She flew over the fields and river and then over her very own meadow. I love flying, Lettuce squealed as she looped the loop. Down below, the rabbit family looked up amazed. It's Lettuce, they cried. Look, she's really flying. Once she had landed safely, Lettuce and her family bounded back to the burrow. We want to fly too, cried her brothers and sisters, clapping their paws as Lettuce told them her story. Lettuce looked around thinking she must be the happiest and luckiest rabbit in the world. Sometimes she thought, you really can make a dream come true. The End